Talks WIMG 1300 and WPHY Channel 25 are proud to present In the Public Interest. Each week, we explore a new topic of interest for you, the public. We now join our hosts live from the WIMG studios. Hello, friends, and welcome to In the Public Interest on Trenton Talks, heard live on WIMG 1300 on the AM dial, streaming on the internet, WIMG1300.com. I am your host, Jacques Howard. Before we get into the program, I have two friends uh, from the Sage Coalition who we're going to be speaking to about art in the local community of the Trenton region. But I just want to take a moment to uh, share kudos um, to a friend, a really good friend, a community organizer, Dion Clark who uh, recently passed away. Dion was a gentleman who loved Trenton. Um, he held people elected in office uh, accountable for what they're supposed to do. Um, he had a wonderful reputation as someone who really wanted to see Trenton become a better place. So uh, Dion, um, our thoughts and prayers are with you. We miss you already, um, but we can still remember seeing you at the city council meetings, um, holding all the elected officials' feet to the fire and uh, bringing awareness about things that were taking place in the city, such as the uh, problems with the parks and how things could be better. And uh, with that being said, I'd like to introduce my two guests tonight um, from the Sage Coalition, Will Caso Condry and Carl Washington. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. Good. <laughs> so, so the two gentlemen that I have in the studio with me are artists and uh, they're very soft-spoken, well-healed um, in uh, the fine arts. So, uh, Will, why don't you start first, and I want you to uh, introduce yourself to the listening and viewing audience, mm -hmm. and then, Carl, you can take over. Um, Will Caso, uh, muralist, all-around good guy. <laughs> <laughs> Carl? Hey, it's Carl Washington. I'm a photographer, videographer. So uh, I brought you guys into the studio um, for a couple of things. First of all, over at um, Sage Coalition, um, and the website is sagecoalitionnj.com. At that website, people can find out everything that you guys are doing, and that includes going to it, Will. Oh, man, we do a little bit of everything. We do monthly art shows. Every second Friday of the month, we host a new exhibition, either group show or solo artist shows. Um, we're getting we're doing t frequent tours of the block so it's more or less the tours are kind of informal if you want to take like a tour of Hanover street or the gallery space just email us sagecoalitionnj.com we can set a time up um the gallery is right now open during lunch hours right and we're also planning our next event which is storm the gates this is a event where we're going to paint the metal roll down gates in downtown Trenton. we're still putting it together we should have all the details by end of this week as far as, you know, budget, people involved, the whole nine. And uh, it's going to basically be a continuation of Wonders of Soul, which is a project we did last year on Hanover Street where we put artwork on all the abandoned buildings. So now we're moving more into the commercial zone. With the same concept in mind, you bring art, people will come. You know, and we all know how much downtown Trenton is suffering. You know, so again, bring the art, see people will come, you know. And uh, the one thing that we, we try to constantly remind people is that if you want to be a force in this town or anywhere that's in the, in the kind of shape that transit, you have to be organized. And also you have to f focus primarily first and foremost on the arts because the arts is what open everything else up. Mm -hmm. you, know, you bring in art, you, that brings tourism. Tourism brings money, money brings jobs. So it all starts with the art. Okay. And Carl, um, you, have, you guys have a community garden over yeah. at the 219? Um, the Gandhi area. Garden, yep. Yeah. Uh, that's a project we started this past September, and it's still an ongoing thing. We have weekly meetups there called Chilling with Gandhi, Monday nights from 5 to 9. Um, you know, Graham Apgar is the designer of the garden. He's also a part of Sage Coalition. Derek McGeady, he maintains the garden. He's also a part of Sage. Um, it's, a, it's a community garden, so it's open to everyone. You know, it, it has, for some reason, it has the... Um, perception that it's like a private thing no no it's just always been a public art we just ask anyone that uses it take care of it that's it because 99 percent of that work that's done in there is volunteer mm -hmm. so the location is is uh, exactly what i address uh, it's 223 east Hanover. it's just the, it's the next lot over from 219 yeah. and when people come to the gandhi garden what can they expect what, what, oh, what are some of the things that they'll see they see art for one there's a you know the mural outside of the garden um, which i painted last year uh, there's also art within the garden. Um, 
some art installations for local artists. There's a community stage there, so you know we're looking to get into doing more programs out there as far as like, um, I know Passage Theater recently did a project uh, this past June in the garden, they did a, um, a play. So we're looking to do more things like that in there. Just have it used as an artist communal space. You know? yeah. Now, why did you choose the name Gandhi for the garden? Well, that was that was more of a group effort. That, that I can't uh, take credit for the name of the garden. The name came from the mural that I produced there. Like, what people, a lot of people don't know is the space where the Gandhi mural is currently. There were two other Gandhi murals there previously. You know, um, the first one I did back in 2008. And in 2011, it got vandalized. Someone threw white paint all over it, you know? And then me and a friend of mine by the name of Love One, who also has a show up currently at the gallery, um, we went out and redid it. So that was in the summer of 2011. So when Sage moved to Hanover Street in full this past June, that's where the concept of the garden came up. And, uh, and that's when everyone's like, well, we just call it the Gandhi Garden, just named after the mural that book in, that, you know, that, is the backdrop to it, and then that gave me the that gave me the inspiration when I realized like wow this is really happening, to redo the mural to make it you know just as glorious as we've seen the garden in our minds you know because the second one was rushed it was done in a few hours because it was mainly a patch up job you know, and um in in the in the grand scheme of things it it had to be done in that short of time so I spent months on the last one just so it could be to the vision that I originally had for it. You mm-hmm. know? So, so you, so you said a mouthful during mm. that. Um, so, well, let's get Carl mm. involved in this as well. Mm. Okay. Can you talk about um, Sage Coalition in general? What is the idea behind it? I mean, when you think of coalition, mm. you think about uh, lots of different people coming together or whatever. But, but what is what is the vision of Sage? Well, I'm actually like one of the newer members of Sage. I, I met Sage about a year ago. I was living on East Hanover Street. And um, they were um, moving, f- transitioning from the Artillia. And um, a guy by the name of Derek McEady, who maintains and cultivates the Gandhi Garden, he was the one who told me that I should meet with these guys because I was also into art myself. Mm-hmm. I'm, I do more digital art. So um, we met and became friends. And through time, I, I showed them that I had you know, some nice work. and. Caso, you know, he allowed me to be in the show, and from there, you know, we just kind of connected and bonded, and I, I was introduced to everybody else, like Collar, who's into the um, digital music, and Graham, who's into graphics and website design. Also, you have um, Will Kinsley, who is um, a welder and um, 3D art designer. You know, we just all kind of clicked, and my my understanding of what sage is is just pretty much to empower people to let them know that they can do things on their own mm-hmm. and don't necessarily need assistance you know it's all through education and you know and the helping the care in others it's just all about helping one another and building it to make a better future for mm-hmm. us and our families and mm-hmm. friends so so when we think about sage in general i mean we we always Again, the Sage Coalition, people coming together, it's cohesiveness, lots of different elements, um, right. all with the same purpose. Right. The same purpose of, hey, we're all in this together, we're, we're a community. Um, Will, you had said that uh, one time in one of our conversations that, that there's a tagline, um, reach the hood. Uh, reach the world, reach, reach the world, but touch the hood first. And, and what was the reason for that? Oh, the, the, the origin of that quote, we got to take it back like almost 10 years. Like, I used to watch Death Poetry Jam a lot. And uh, every time it came on, I used to watch it, listen to it, and I would draw. It was inspiration. So I remember Most Def came up. It was like towards the end of the show, and he did a verse. And at the at the end of it, he said, "Reach the world, touch the hood first. And I'm like, and it just clicked. I, and I wrote it down. Mm-hmm. I was like, "Wow, that's that's a dope line," you know. And at the time, you know, Sage wasn't even like in my mindset. You know, it's like I didn't really. I, all what you see going on now was still kind of in its developmental stages. So I was doing t-shirts at the time. I used to hand paint airbrush t-shirts. And at the end of each t-shirt, I would put that quote on there, reach the world, touch the hood first. I would put on every shirt I would make till it got around. Because like, oh, you're the guy who put reach the world, touch the hood first on the t-shirts. Because then that's how Sage started, with Sage Collection. I did it as a t-shirt line, you know? And then it turned into the collective, which was me and four other graffiti artists. And that's when we went around painting murals around the city. You know, it kicked off with the Gandhi mural. Then I just pulled other people in, and we went around doing the same thing. 
then the co collective turned into the coalition, and you see what it is now. Excellent. Yeah. So, so when we, <laughs> and I'm always amazed about mm -hmm. how much public art is out. Yeah. Um, and there's all everyone thinks when you say art, like the, the simple things, visual arts, like mm -hmm. not really even performing arts all the time, mm -hmm. but digital art as well, like what you're doing, Carl. So, can you tell the listening and viewing audience a little bit about your digital art, your photography, and what your aesthetic is like? Well, I'm. I do digital photography and also do um, videography and a little bit of of um, short film and basically I just try to you know capture the raw essence of everything that's around me and you know it's it's not more commercial it's not that commercial I'm not really doing it for profit but it's more of the art and, and to to capture like emotion and feeling a certain subjects or to make people think a certain way when they, when they look at my work so excellent and if anyone wants to see any of the work that you guys are doing how can they find out about what sage coalition is doing uh, just so what, hit the website sagecoalitionnj.com it has a the website has a, a detailed history of all the projects we've done in the past up till now until what's coming yeah all right, great, thanks. Yeah. Folks, you're listening to In the Public Interest on WIMG 1300, also streaming on the Internet, WIMG1300.com, and you can find us on Facebook and Twitter. Also suggest that you like us there and follow us, WIMG 1300. I'm speaking with Sage Coalition's two of the several members from Sage Coalition, Will Caso Condry and Carl Washington. Carl is a digital artist. Um, he does some videography. He also uh, does some short films. And Will Caso has uh, touched him lots of different things with the fine art. Will, approximately how many murals have you worked on in the Trenton region? In Trenton, hmm, I say there's over 20 murals. Some are still up, some are, are not with us anymore. But um, as far as walls as a whole, like I've, I stopped counting at 500. Like I, it was at one point, you know, I was, I was doing my crew. Like that's the one thing. I, like everything I do is not solo. Sometimes I work with a group, and uh, you know, at my peak, I was doing 50 walls a year. So, and I've been doing it for a while now, probably about a good eight years, running. You know, so. But I don't paint that much anymore as far as murals because I'm doing a lot of different things now. I have an art gallery. You know, um, I do a lot of community work, so my 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 talents are being spread out. I'm just branching out, really. You know, um, just kind of like I'm at the point in my life now where it's like, you know, if it's something I said I wanted to do ten years ago, then just to have the time, I make the time for it now because I have the experience. You know, so I want to produce a comic book. I'm working on that. You know, all the stuff that I always want to do, I'm actually getting a chance to do now. So I don't have to be so prolific in just one area anymore. I've, I've established myself. Now I'm just diversifying. Yeah. You know? And we're going to be coming up on a break mm -hmm. in about two minutes. Mm -hmm. But before we do that, I would like for you to go back to the Gandhi Garden. Yeah. And something happened recently Oh with yeah, the, with the Gandhi Garden that I'd like for you to share with the listening and viewing Oh, yeah. Audience. We were setting up for our June show. And uh, Derek comes in the gallery. He's like, well, you ain't going to believe this. Gandhi's grandson is outside. And I have a friend of mine named Gandhi. So I'm like, okay, like, well, tell him to come inside. I'm busy. It's like, no, 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 D. Gandhi is D. Gandhi's grandson. Like, he's, like, hyped up, you know? So I go outside and see this, you know, this, this older gentleman out there, you know, silver hair. And he turns around. I like, can I help you? He's like, yeah, you know, he said, told me his name is Arun, and uh, he's, that's his grandfather on the wall. And I'm like, what? <laughs> like, are you serious? And then next thing, you know, Carl comes up, uh, Kyler, everybody started coming up. It's like, yo, this is really Gandhi's grandson. You know, and he told us, like, yeah, um, it's, uh, what do you say? I forget. Um, Gandhi's second son was is his father. Yeah. So it was it was nuts. He was out there for about an hour, just out there asking us, like, you know, questions and that this is great. And we were like, well, how did you find out? Because it's not like we reached out to him. And he was doing a talk in Philadelphia, and uh, I believe it was his assistant. I I'm not sure if it, was, if it was his wife or his assistant, whatever. But anyway, she pulled out a pamphlet, and she said, well, I got the pamphlet at the train station, and I showed it to him, and he's on his way back to Rochester. She said, so we figured we'd stop through on the way back up north <laughs> just to see the guard. Just Here's what we'll do. Random. We're up on the break, so we'll finish mm -hmm. that story after yeah. we come back from the break. Folks, you're listening to In the Public Interest on WIMG. I'm Jacques Howard, your host. You can find us on the Internet as well, WIMG1300.com.
Is the IRS knocking on your door for back taxes? Are you being threatened with bank levies or wage garnishments? Let us negotiate with the IRS for you. It's a lot easier. We deal with the IRS every day, so you don't have to. If you owe $10,000 or more in back taxes, or you haven't filed in a while, pick up your cell phone and call now for free information. We have experts standing by right now who know the tax codes and know the secrets to settle your back taxes for less, if you qualify. We'll explain to you how we may be able to settle your taxes for less than what you currently owe. So call today for your free evaluation. Remember our motto, if you can't pay your back taxes, call now, see if you can pay less. If you owe $10,000 or more to the IRS, call Alpha Tax now for free advice on how you can pay less. 800-961-3631, 800 800-961-3631, 800-961-3631. to In the Public Interest on Trenton Talks, you're listening to WIMG 1300. Also streaming over the internet, WIMG1300.com, and I apologize, you can also see us on WPHY, Channel 25 in Mercer County, New Jersey. I'm your host, Jacques Howard. I'm speaking with two friends from the Sage Coalition, Will Castle Country and Carl Washington. Both these gentlemen are fine artists who reside in Trenton and are part of this group, the Sage Coalition, which can be found on the internet, sagecoalitionnj.com, where you can find out all the different projects that they're working on, such as murals, um, you guys can also be, um, I guess, uh, commissioned mm-hmm. to do work, yeah. working on community gardens. Um, they also have a capacity to do some, some mass welding and uh, fabrication. Um, but it's just an all-around great group of, of, of men who are there, and your tentacles reach out to lots of different artists in the community, also female. It's a very diverse group of people. Mm-hmm. So thank you for doing that. Um, Will, earlier you chatted about Gandhi, mm-hmm. about the Gandhi Garden and mm-hmm. the Gandhi mural that, that you created. And first I want to talk about that. Then I want to go back and talk about um, the length of murals and public art and how long that you yeah. know it stays up and, and the culture with that. Mm-hmm. But for one more time, just like summarize that story with uh, Gandhi. Oh yeah, well his grandson came out to visit the garden unannounced. It was just, it was so random, you know. So uh, no one believed it. I even remember we called Graham, you know, uh, like yo Graham, you gotta come check this out. Gandhi's grandson is here. He's like, come on man, it's not funny. I'm busy right now. Same thing, like no one believed it. But then we came out, I was like wow, this is really happening. That's, that's when we realized like the impact of what we were doing, you know, because we're the type of people, we just, we work, 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 work. We don't really kind of sit back and take it all in. We just on to the next, on to the next. And that's when we realized like the reach that what we're doing is starting to have because we didn't promote it to any of Gandhi's people as, at all. You know, it was just like, we put the information out there. It was like putting a message in a bottle and somebody replied, you know, mm-hmm. it was literally like that random, but it was cool, man. It, if anything, it was extra boost and motivation, you know, just to keep going with it. When you realize the people that you're affecting, you know, just the people who even just come and just, you know, saying they want to start their own garden from seeing what we're doing. Like, that's that's the point. Like, yes, you can do it yourself, you know. And um, because every, cause that's the one thing. Everybody think that garden is made to feed everyone. No, it's made. We have enough food. Small. We grow a very small amount of food there. But the thing is, we'll come and we'll show you how to do it, you know, like you can do it yourself. It's not very, it's not hard. Just take some work. That's all. Mm-hmm. And people can go to the Sage Coalition website. Yep. You can Google search Sage Coalition NJ mm-hmm. and find information about it. Yeah. You guys have been covered in the media a yeah. lot in the last <laughs> four years or so. Yeah, um, yeah, US yeah. One, Trenton Times, Trentonian, uh, um, Bucks Life Magazine, uh, also yeah. um, Princeton Area Community Foundation, mm-hmm. their newsletter, Crisis Ministry. Yeah. So you guys are all over the place doing all these different projects, and it's not just about painting murals. It's, it's no. a little bit more than that it's very diverse now it's a little bit more complex you know murals is what kicked it off murals are it's the first thing that you know you put a you put a mural up you know you, you're going to relate to most people you know and uh you, you get their attention immediately and then that's when you pull them into the other projects you know with the garden it's, it's a collaboration literally of everyone you know graham designed the garden derek maintains it wills did the um entrance like the bike sculpture entrance of the, the um bike wheels and i did the mural that on um, bookends it and um you know, everybody has a piece involved in it, you know. And that's the beautiful part of it is literally a group effort to keep it going. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, Carl, you're always there documenting, 
whether video or photograph. Um, and I photographed you photographing other people at, at the <laughs> event. So there's there's plenty of documentation of all the events that Sage does, correct? Uh, yeah, definitely. And we try to keep it online and um, update it so that people will know what's going on. Because you know, it's lucky to have the internet because it's it's it's, it's pretty much easy to just get it out there and once it get out there and people starts to follow then it, it becomes like crazy you know you mm -hmm. never know who might pop in so try to keep the place looking good yeah you know and stay busy and you know yeah. and, just you really you try know. to keep each other motivated because the one thing too is like you know like we've been we've been blessed to be able to do what we love to do you know but at the same time, it could be difficult maintaining that momentum, you know, especially when you're working for yourself. So, you know, we all know when one of us is going through something and we all keep each other, keep the morale up, you know. We have a lot of fun. We sit around, we joke around, you know, but we work hard as well, you know. So, and a lot, when a lot of people come down to 219, they think, you know, especially like when we're having a show, they think it's always like that. Like, you guys are always partying. Like, no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nah, like, most of the time you're like, you're up late because you're working on a project that you need to get finished because you got a deadline. Then you got to do like this regular life stuff. It's a lot of work, you know. So, um, you know, especially like leading up to the shows, like you don't have a life for a few weeks. You just have to dedicate to getting these projects done, mm -hmm. you know, and, we, you know, we work hard, we play hard. So, mm -hmm. Well, I want to cover a couple of things before we finish up um, the interview. Mm -hmm. um, there's there's a culture with uh, with art and murals mm -hmm. and public art. Yeah. Can you just talk a little bit about that? As far as. Um, like what do you like when you when you see a mural that's mm -hmm. up and then someone tags over it because oh. I'm sure the listening and view, viewing audience doesn't fully understand, you know the the intricacies about the the culture. Yeah, well, of graffiti see, the, art and urban art. They give they give people like a little history lesson. Um, like graffiti graffiti started in Philadelphia, New York magnified it. You know, with the whole when the subway movement and all that, you know, and then when the the whole subway movement ended in the late '80s, you know, it moved. It moved more so into the streets, and you know that's when you get a lot of street bombing or whatever. And then from that came production crews, like the elaborate murals you used to see on the side of subways were originally moved to walls. And um, by this time, it was like a global thing. We're talking about like late '80s, early '90s when Europe started getting a hold to it, and Europe just uh, like up the fine art level. Now it's pretty much a global thing. You can't go anywhere on this globe, maybe with the exception of Antarctica, and not find some type of graffiti somewhere. You know, I'm talking about modern graffiti. You know, and um, so just in knowing that, you know, when I got into the scene, graffiti was like one of my first influences. So when I got into it, it's something I always knew what I wanted to do, but I just never knew how to go about doing it. When I finally linked up the, with cats that were doing it, you know, got into the scene, I was doing the same thing. But I was never as prolific at the legal bombing as a lot of people think, you know. I did, you know, I did some stuff, but my goal was always more to get into the mural aspect of it, which I did. You know, formed a crew, and from that grew my first series of public works, major public works. You know, we're talking about from, like, maybe 2005 to 2008, as far as, like, when I f was really involved. And then from 2008 on to now is when I really started focusing my talents on community rebuilding. You know, taking what I learned from graffiti and applying it to bettering my community instead of destroying it. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's great. And that leads up to a couple of uh, events that are coming up and projects yeah. that you're working on. Um, you yeah. guys want to elaborate on those? Yeah, we got um, Jersey Fresh coming up, Jersey Fresh Jam. Uh, we've been doing Jersey Fresh since the summer 2005. So this jam, it started off with 10 graffiti writers in the case of beer. Fast forward to now, we have over 50 artists come out, approximately 15 music acts performing, um, vendors, the whole nine. It's like, it's a, it's a festival, you know? And uh, bef the night before, that Friday the 9th, we're doing the um, art show, Vicious Styles Crew, which is, the, f which is um, the founding graffiti crew, which I'm one of the original members of, that started Jersey Fresh. So we're focusing on that core group for our August art show at 219. And um, then, you know, we have Storm the Gates in September, you know, a solo show by Ricardo Barros, who's a photographer with the Grounds of Sculpture, in October at 219. November, we're doing the Art of Wu, which is a Wu-Tang Clan inspire art show in December we close it out with Lank. Mm -hmm. so okay yeah. and um, as far as Jersey Fresh Jam mm -hmm. where's that um, uh, what's TerraCycle. the date again TerraCycle August 10th from I believe it's from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. Um, it's at um, 121 New York Avenue at TerraCycle Inc. yeah so we've been doing it at TerraCycle since day one 
And uh, shout out to Tom Zaisky, the CEO. He's good people. He's mm-hmm. he's always supported what we've been doing, and so you know, so far so good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And do you uh, have any uh, solo projects that you're working on, or or yeah. duo projects that you're yeah, working on? Yeah, actually, I'm working on two things, and they're both of them are going to take place next year because they're that involved. Um, one show I'm working on is called Invasion. Uh, it's going to be kind of think of like Parliament Funkadelic meets. Pink Floyd meets Wu Tang Clan meets Street Art meets it's 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 it's, a, it's going to be a very eclectic show, and I'm not doing it till next spring. Um, so everything I'm doing now literally is like leading up to that show, and I'm looking to open it up in New York. So and me and Carl are working on a project where he's going to do a photo series of Hanover Street. You know, okay. because the one thing that that uh, that gets to me is that you know we're doing a lot of uh, good work there you know we try we do our best to get people involved but the one thing that gets overshadowed is the people that live there their stories like you know they were here long before we were even if they're you know if they're out there smoking crack whatever we all know what happens over there but no one really gets the time to talk to these people and we've been doing that we know a little bit of everybody over there whether they're kind of spaced out or just regular folk so Carl's going to do like a photo series of that, and I'm going to do a, um, a painting series based off his photos. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the art and, and community that you guys are building mm-hmm. over at 219 mm-hmm. um, and, and at the Gandhi Garden, mm-hmm. you're actually redeveloping the community. Yeah. Uh, because now it's it's become a destination for people who want to come and see what public art can look like oh, yeah. and community gardens. Oh, um, yeah. For the folks who are listening and viewing, I mean, uh, Gandhi's grandson <laughs> specifically came to Trenton to see what was going on at the Gandhi Garden. Yeah. Now that is that's a pretty big deal. I mean, no matter how you look at it, um, what your religious beliefs are. I mean, if if Gandhi's family is interested in something that's taking place in, in your local community, it's a big deal. So one more time, folks. Um, Sage Coalition NJ dot com is where you can find out all the information about the different projects that uh, Will and Carl are working on. But in addition to that, you can also find out more about what Sage is. Um, you guys are five hundred one C three. Yes. And so you guys are you can take uh, donations and. You're looking for volunteers as always, right? Yeah, we're always looking for volunteers. Um, right now, we're linked up with the Bonner Center at TCNJ. So uh, most of our volunteers comes out of their their network, you know. And uh, But we're always open. You know, we get people that come down all the time, you know, wanting to help out. And, you know, I'm pretty busy, so I'm very slow about getting back to some of my emails. But um, even if you email us at sagecoalitionnj at gmail.com, someone will get back to you and let you know when things are going on. Because all of us are pretty spread out these days, so it's very difficult to, um, you know, get back to everyone in a timely fashion. But, you know, we do our best, and it's something always going on. Just reach out to us. Sure. we got just about two minutes left, and in Mm. 30 seconds, can you talk about the uh, TDA connection Oh, Trend Downtown Association. Well, Trend Downtown Association um, sponsored Windows of Soul, and they're the ones we, you know, we have a monthly budget from them to run the gallery. You know, it's their space. We're in essence promoting their space, and but they've been a huge supporter of what what we're doing. You know, Christian Martin. You know, I have, I have to give it up to him. Like he's doing an amazing job. You know, um, we pretty much. You know, anything that we need, you know, they have. You know, they, if they can provide it, they will. Or give us the resources to find it other places. Like, they've really been helping us. Since we're still very young, as far, especially as, part, as far as the nonprofit world, there's still a lot we don't know. And we all know the TDA has been around for a very long time. So, if anything, we're learning a lot. You know, same thing with other organizations that we partner with. You know, we're in partner with them. We're learning how to do it ourselves. So. Okay, yeah. and uh, we've got less than a minute left. Mm. So um, I know before we got on the show, we were talking about mm. uh, uh, Dion Clark. Yeah, and uh, you think this is a fair time for you to make a, a bit of an announcement? Yeah, he deserves a mural. He deserves a mural. Now, honestly, I, I I've never met Dion. You know, I've heard about him, but I never had the honor to meet him. And when I heard about it, you know, it was a shock to me. Like like most people, it's like, wow, you know, this guy was doing something. And it and you know, in his passing, I'm quite sure a lot of people know who he is now mm-hmm. and the type of work that he was doing and I think that's something that needs to be highlighted you know especially if you're going to put a mural up in trend of someone it should be of someone of that caliber I think you said yeah. it perfectly folks get yeah. in touch with me uh, Jacques Howard you can find me on Facebook Sage Coalitions on Facebook mm-hmm. uh, also listen to the Trenton 365 show on Mondays from 8 to 9 and uh, you can find out what's going on and indeed I believe Sage mm-hmm. Coalition and myself will work on trying to now we will get a mural for Dion yeah I think, and, I think, it's, I think it's due 
Excellent. Yeah. Folks, you've been listening to In the Public Interest on WIMG 1300. Also on the internet, WIMG1300.com. Facebook and Twitter, WIMG 1300. And on television, WPHY, Channel 25 in Mercer County. Have a great night. And we're out. Have you played front flip? Visit McDonald's for details. McDonald's, I'm loving it. Head into the Home Depot for big savings on simple updates, like this small project. Find new space in a cluttered room with some heavy-duty four-tier shelving. A $29 value now at a special buy of just $19.88. Save big and get more space to work and play. One of many ways to make a big difference for less during the Small Projects Big Values event going on now. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. U.S. only, see store for details. Shop the O'Reilly Auto Parts Super Saver Sale and find Berryman Total Fuel System Cleaner on sale for $4.99. Clean clogged injectors with Berryman Total Fuel System Cleaner, $4.99 during the Super Saver Sale at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. Limit supply. See store for details. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. Are you an inventor? Or do you know an inventor who would like to attempt to have an invention or idea patented and submitted to industry? InventHelp, America's number one invention company, has inventor's information you can have free. Record your invention's date of origination, plus get an informative brochure and other material of interest to new inventors from the company whose patent referral services have helped secure more than 7,000 patents. Call now, 800-619-2181. That's 800-619-2181. Even if you only have an idea for improving an existing product and don't know where to go with it, you'll want this free inventor's information. It shows how InventHealth may assist you in trying to patent your invention and submit it to industry. It's a free call, so call now. 800-619-2181. 800-619-2181. That's 800-619-2181. Are your cable rates rising? Tired of being pushed around by your provider? It's time to push back. Cut the cable and get Dish installed with absolutely no equipment to buy. Here's the best part. Packages start at just $19.99 a month for an entire year. That's right. Call now and get Dish installed free. Plus HBO, Cinemax, Showtime, and Stars free for three months. If you call in right now, Dish will also throw in free HD for life. PMG Dish, a Dish authorized retailer, is waiting for your call and can have you watching TV as soon as tomorrow. Call 800-860-0436. Imagine all your favorite movies, sports, and shows in crystal clear digital quality for far less money, and you won't have to deal with the cable company anymore. At only $19.99 per month, they're practically giving it away. Call now for full details. Call 800-860-0436. That's 800-860-0436. Again, 800-860-0436. Limited time off for prices, packages, and programming subject to change without notice. 24-month agreement required. Cancellation fees, auto pay, and paperless billing, and other restrictions apply. Call for details. I'm Leon Rainbow. And I'm Will Castle. And, and we're, we're Payne Trent. And, and you're, you're listening, listening to WIMG. And welcome back, friends, to WIMG 1300. The name of the show is In the Public Interest. I'm Jacques Howard, your host. You can find us on Facebook and Twitter, WIMG 1300. <laughs> And streaming over the internet, WIMG1300.com. On television, WPHY, Channel 25 in Mercer County, New Jersey. I am still with Carl Washington and Will Caso Condry, two artists um, from the Trenton area, Trenton region, I like to say, um, who are part of the SAGE Coalition. The website is SAGE, S-A-G-E, CoalitionNJ.com. There you can find information about previous events. You can find information about volunteering, making some sort of a donation. You can learn about the community garden that is called the Gandhi Garden, which Will's going to talk a little bit more about his um, his experience and Carl's experience with, 
with meeting the grandson of Gandhi who came to Trenton to see this garden specifically. Uh, in addition to that, there's a, the community garden has a community outreach component. Um, they've got different artists involved, not only from digital, but also craftsmen like uh, Wills Kinsley, who does uh, fabrication of metal and wood. And then you also have a very strong music component with Collar Biz, Black Collar Biz, and uh, DJ Ahmad. It's mm -hmm. just Ahmad. So uh, welcome again back, gentlemen. So uh, Carl, Let's talk a little bit about um, your digital media, um, your expertise, and your craft. Well, I, I've been in digital media for about five years now. I started with Mer Mercer County Community College, and um, I've always been like a writer and, and a musician. I, I like to rap and um, songwrite, so I thought, why not go and do something different, you know, which was fine arts. and. So I took the um, digital media route, but I learned fine art like basic drawing and life drawing, which um, like honed my skills mm -hmm. in photography and videography. But a little bit more down the line, that's when I became, I knew I found my passion when I picked up a camera. And um, yeah, I just try to capture like different things. I'm into abstract art, but also into like documenting and, you know, just catching life, you know. Mm. So if you could, yeah. you could. Uh, choose between one of the two not saying you have to of course you don't um, but what do you feel is pulling you the most currently um, still life or um, actual like uh, movies like motion pictures well it's pretty much the same because video is nothing but pictures but I think photography really captures the moment versus video which can be you know manipulated more you know it's just like it's once you captured it it's like yours and to hold you know that moment you know and it can't be rewind you know you can't bring it back so it's just it's like a documented point in time that you know everybody can look at mm -hmm. so I want to drill down on on the word document um, what do you have coming up with some projects are you are you working on a film maybe you're gonna I know you are documenting all of the sages efforts because I see you documenting them whether it's video or still life well, um, is there uh, any projects in the wings for Carl Washington with the documenting sage coalition yes we're in the works of that um, I have a lot of footage from the year that I've been with Sage, also um, Black Collar Biz, he has a lot of footage. So we are looking at who we're going to get to document it. But I definitely want a part in it, you know, to make sure that it goes right. We just don't want to give this, you know, this is a lot of valuable stuff. And we just don't want to give it out to anybody. And, you know, how the media can be sometimes, you know, put their own little twist on things. But, you know, we just want to be there right with it so to make sure that everything goes right also i got a um, solo show coming up next year um june 13th friday the 13th which is my birthday okay. and it, the name of the show will be called good luck so it's, it's going to definitely be interesting you know period of time all right so the smile on, on your face uh and, and how, how you perked up a little bit i think you've got some interesting things lined up for that yeah <laughs> okay, so we're going to move on. I'm going I'm to let that be it. So, Will Casa, so let's talk a little bit more about um, your, your your experience with, with Gandhi's grandson uh, and how that all came about. Well, like I said earlier, he he pretty much just showed up unannounced, you know, and um, Derek was, Derek McGee, you know, who's, we said earlier, he's, he's the one who maintains the garden. He's the first one to announce it. He came to me while I was in the gallery. He's like, oh, you you ain't gonna believe this, you know, Gandhi's grandson's out here. And um and he was just out there in the garden chilling, just, you know, regular dude. It wasn't, you know, like he came in on a cloud or nothing. It was just <laughs> he just chilling, you know. And he was just asking us how did it all start? And, you know, he commended me on a mural. He you know, he was he's like this thanked us for what we were doing to honor his grandfather's message. So it was it was pretty intense, man. It was like wow, it was it was very surreal. 
you know, just having him there and just looking at him. I was like, he even looks like the guy. Yeah, just with more hair. Spit, spinning image. Yeah, he just, just got yeah. more hair, you know. It yeah. was it was, it was was kind of freaky, man. He's it was like the like, modern version. Yeah. <laughs> Gandhi looked like in 2013, yeah. you know. <laughs> <laughs> but it was cool, man. And like I said, it was just, if anything, it was a morale booster. It was like, yeah, we're moving in the right direction, you know. Yeah, I would say you are, if, yeah. if besides local media attention, if, if you've yeah. got... Got Gandhi's grandson wanting to come by and take a look yeah. at it. I think that you do have a, you guys are moving in the right direction. Yeah, it, def- and, you know. it was nothing like, you know, you know, put together. It's, we, it's not like we reached out to do it or anything. Mm-hmm. We just saw one of our pamphlets mm-hmm. and came out and ch- decided to check it out. Mm-hmm. It's really cool. So can you guys talk about, like, some of the partnerships that you have? I know it's, it's extensive. I know, yeah. you know, I coordinate something with you guys to do uh, the, cri- uh, the crisis mural with ministry. The crisis yeah. ministry. Was, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, and yeah. you guys did yeah. a wonderful job, Thank which you. is also on Hanover Street. Yeah, yeah, right up the block. Yeah. But, can, but can you guys talk about some of the other organizations and groups that you've partnered with recently? Uh, I know it's a laundry list yeah. throughout the whole history, but just some of them. Well, you know, Trend Downtown Association has been an ongoing partnership with them since day one, so... They've all, they're like literally right there next to us um, with most of the projects that we're doing. Um, you know, we work closely with uh, the Boys and Girls Club. You know, I did a after school program with them um, this past school year, and Wills currently works with them. It's been ongoing for probably for about a year now with the bike exchange. And, uh, you know, we work with Artworks, you know, us and Artworks, you know, we always collaborate on different things. And if, if anything, cross cross promoting other projects that we're doing, and it, you know, with what they're doing, art all night and you know, art all day, we cross promote with what what we're doing. Um, Isles has been a um, big help with the garden. You know, they gave us a lot of uh, useful information very early in, um, just as far as like the whole, uh, you know, setting things up and making sure we were had the right soil stuff like that. A lot of like a lot of useful information. Um, we, uh, what who else we've been working with? Um, to me, um, also, uh, um, traditional partners are volunteers. Yeah. They're, they're very important, and we definitely get a lot of them. I mean, mm-hmm. they come from all over to help. You mm-hmm. know, everybody just, you know, is, is glad to be a part and yeah. to support what we're doing. Mm-hmm. So of the volunteer portion, uh, can you just share a little bit about, like, gardening with Gandhi? Yeah. Um, about that information, how people can come out for that? Well, um, same thing. Hit up our um, website, sagecoalitionj.com. There's a section on there, literally just for gardening with Gandhi, and also on Facebook slash um, the Gandhi Garden. But um, yeah, the the, guy, the garden is <laughs> is taking on a life of its own. Literally, uh, it's definitely currently our biggest project because unlike Windows of Soul, which is more or less a seasonal thing, this is all year long. You know, it takes, I mean, we were working on this garden since last fall through the winter, spring, and now in the summer. It, it requires constant maintenance, you know. Graham and Derek are always out there in that garden maintaining it. So volunteer efforts for that are needed. You know, it, it cuts the workload down just for us because, again, we're at the same time, we volunteer time in there too. Everybody does, you know. And um, just to make it, you know, keep it, keep it up up for people to use you know yeah there's also been like a, a tremendous amount of donations yeah. like people donate artwork we just got a hammock donated today <laughs> yeah um day before yesterday more flowers were donated so it's, it's very consistent mm-hmm. yeah. and and something else i want the listening and viewing audience to know about um, when we say garden community garden this is indeed a community garden yeah. there's a lot of beautiful things taking place not only with the original artwork and the structure and the educational component of it but there's also lots of flowers and the edible food that that's there is amazing and talk a little bit about what you guys are doing with that food mm-hmm. well for the shows that we have every second friday we do a brand new art show in our gallery so the food is prepped for the openings. We serve the food at the openings. So, you know, it cuts our cost down, too, because we're growing it. So we always have an assortment of salads, and 90% of the, um, the, um, the vegetables in the salads come from our own garden. And we never got a complaint yet. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, so, so folks, uh, right there. I mean, you've got a community garden that was on a, on a city-owned mm-hmm. vacant lot that had weeds that were 
several feet high, and it's now a beautiful outdoor educational garden and food space. Yeah. And it's become a tourist attraction. I mean, oh, yeah. We've had bike tours go by there. Yeah. Um, we've, we've had... Uh, city council's been out there. Senior citizen Senior tours. Senior citizen groups. Children, <laughs> children colleges. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, you know. The you know, it goes across the board. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, been, it's, it's been intense. Yeah. Yeah, and the interesting thing about that, guys, is that Hanover Street, where it's located, is just a few blocks like really just one city block from City Hall. Yeah. And right. it was not a very good block oh, nah. several years ago. Nah. I mean, the to keep it all honest, Hanover Street still has some of its demons. They're just not as prevalent as they used to be. You know? <laughs> but uh and the cool thing about it, you know, despite what goes on and on that block, we don't have a problem. No one comes over there, they feel threatened. Everyone over there respects what we're doing. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, so I'm speaking to Will Castle and Carl Washington, two artists who are part of the Sage Coalition, and um, they are located on Hanover Street, 219 mm-hmm. and 223 Hanover Street, mm-hmm. and uh, they've got a community garden, lots of different arts things taking place. They've got an educational component, um, and they've got a couple of events that are coming up that we'll talk about after the break. You're listening to In the Public Interest on WIMG 1300, also on WIMG 1300.com, and if you're watching on television, it's WPHY, Channel 25, Immersive County. have a car or truck you really love i have one exactly like it if anything happened to my baby like a blown engine a failed transmission or the ac went out i don't know what i'd do or how i'd pay for it well i just learned about coverage you can get for those unexpected budget breaking auto repairs this coverage is the most affordable complete car repair coverage and it's month to month they can save you thousands of dollars monthly auto protection is for car owners just like us our cars are three to ten years old and have less and 125,000 miles on them. Monthly Auto Protection is so confident you'll benefit from your coverage. If you call now, they're offering the six-month free. For a limited time, that's right, the six-month is free. Call right now for this radio-only, risk-free offer. 800-706-7063. 800-706-7063. 800-706-7063. 800-706-7063. Friends and welcome back to In the Public Interest. I'm I'm Jacques Howard, your host. You're listening to WIMG 1300, also on the internet, WIMG1300.com. If you're watching over television, it's WPHY, Channel 25 in Mercer County. And we're also on Facebook and Twitter. You can follow us and like us, WIMG1300. And to put a plug in for the Trenton 365 show, which I'm the host of on Mondays from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. on WIMG1300. I'm speaking with Will Caso Condry and Carl Washington, two artists from the Sage Coalition. And we've been uh, laughing a bit in between the breaks, but we've been talking about art. We've been talking about community uh, organizing and developing and what art means in that component with a community organizing. So, uh, gentlemen, can you either one of you take Mm -hmm. the mic and just talk about the transformation that you've seen on Hanover Street? Mm. Well, yeah, me personally, a a year ago, it was the block was just nothing. There was nothing there. It was just dead no one walked down it was no life and then when sage came you know it just brought life to the block it brought character personality back that i think was missing for a very long time like the people that come around now it's just it's just like a moth to a flame it's just like people are just attracted it's become an attraction one of the major attractions in the city of trend and it's amazing to see that transformation from start to where it is now because, you know, it's just, it just really touches you, mm-hmm. you know, and it, and it shows you and proves that it can be done. Like, things can change where other people have written it off and said that it wasn't possible or it was to be discarded that, you know, life can bloom again, you know. It sounds like you got a sermon in there. Maybe you ought to be a pastor, Carl. <laughs> I told you I was a writer. Yeah, yeah. That, that sounds wonderful. And, and Caso, um, 
what do you, what are your thoughts about this? Because I know from the beginning, yeah. I mean, this is, Sage was one of your visions. You've yeah. been a, a community organizer, whether or not you want to call it that. Yeah. But with all like you know your your experience in Philadelphia with the mural mm -hmm. arts program, and then also with uh, the Vicious Styles crew yeah. and so forth. Oh man, um, it's so funny because going back, you know, I originally re leased the space on Hanover from '06 to '07. You know, and back then it was a different world, you know. I mean, I've never seen, like, lines of dope fiends waiting to get served because it was that prevalent. Like, it, you cannot, I mean, it was just so open, you know. It was literally like an open-air drug market back then, you know. I remember uh, inside the building, inside 219, um, one of the guys who was leasing the space in there at the time, he used to let the people come in there to party, you know, sell their drugs, whatever. It was, it was. It was, man, it was something back then. And I left. After that, I was like, yo, I, I can't be around this. Like, nah, like, this is not the type of environment that I want to create in. And that, when I left, that's when, you know, before I left, I did the Gandhi mural, you know, because I feel, I, even at that time, I was like, you know what, this area could use a little light. And this is the most I can do right now, you know. And I always had a plan. Like, I remember um, a friend of mine asked me, was I done painting over there during that time? And I was like, well, for now, because, you know, when I did the first mural, I didn't have permission. I just went out and did it. So I was like, I know I'm not done here. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I know I'm not done here. You know, I, and little did I know that, you know, all this would happen, you know, five plus years later. But that's always been my plan as far as when I really start seeing the impact of just the work we were putting up. You know, it's like, wow, people are really gravitating toward this. They're respecting it. They're taking care of it. So what if we just magnify it? You know, and now that we all come from such diverse backgrounds, we get in very diverse groups and people that are coming involved is just not one aspect anymore. So it's it's I mean, it takes a group effort to do to, to pull off something of this magnitude. You know, everyone plays their part and plays their position and we work very well together. Like that's the one thing is like we gel very well because we're all first and foremost artists. You know, at the end of the day, we're all artists, you know, and um. And we try to do our best just to keep pushing that aspect forward. It's like we're creative people, but you don't have to be a serious artist, quote unquote, in order to be creative. You know, you just gotta be shot, be shown, be taught. You know, and that's you know that's our go our mission is to show people how to do this. Mm -hmm. you know? That's great, um, Carl. Um, why don't you start with this? I want to ask you. The city's got a lot of um, negative press or um, a lot of naysayers, what would you say to the naysayers who are writing Trenton off or writing off what the arts community is doing in Trenton? To me, I, I just feel I, they just don't understand and until you're there in it, then only then can you, you judge. Yeah. And if you've came down and seen what we're all about, spend a day with us. That's all I can say, you know. Spend a week with us, you know, if you really want to know what's going on. Then you'll find out. Mm -hmm. But until then, there's really nothing to say. And the only thing you can do is take our word for it. Like, it's, 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 it's real deep when, you, you know, you can just see change in things. And, you know, the, the garden in particular, like, I believe is, is very therapeutic, you know. We nicknamed it the island because it's like when you come there, it's like all your problems are gone. Like, I've seen people like with mental health issues who are homeless in the street attitudes even change you know just from being around you know mm -hmm. I think I think stuff like that helps and we forget about it and just try to push medicine on people instead of you know getting a basic understanding of what's really going on it could be emotion mm -hmm. it could be feeling there's so many other components you know but back to your question like um it really takes coming down and seeing what's really going on to understand. You just can't all your life believe what a person says and what's passed on to you. You got to be able to get in there, visualize it for yourself or, you know, be hands on with it. Yeah. If you write something, I think I would buy it. That's pretty you, nice. Yeah. Yeah. So, Caso, same question for you. Um, the naysayers and the people who... Uh, either won't recognize, haven't recognized, and uh, say not to recognize what's going on on Hanover You know Street. what, you know what about, 
the naysayers. I love naysayers because they motivate me. I love proving people wrong. I love seeing my, my team prove people wrong. I mean, it, in this game, you just have to be used to that. If you're not getting any type of criticism, then you're probably not doing anything right, you know. So I welcome it. If you don't believe what we're doing, it looks like Carl said, come down and see it. The thing about it, like, we have tangible evidence of what we're doing. We're not just talking about it. We're not just planning. We don't just have a script. No, we are, we're doing it as we're talking about it, you know. It's like these things are happening, and um, they're happening more frequently these days. And the proof is in the pudding, you know, just come see it. Just come down and check it out, you know. And why people are the one, the people out there that do criticize us, like, oh, we're artists, we don't know what we're doing, we're unorganized, blah blah blah. I mean, I heard it all, you know. And especially coming from a graffiti background, <laughs> oh man, I heard a lot. But then again, you know, I've been dealing with issues like this since high school, bro. So it doesn't phase me at all. I I know what I'm doing right, and as long as I know what I'm doing right, and I'm helping people. Like, off the work that, you know, that we do, we've helped people get jobs, you know. Yeah. Like, we're providing people with sources of income to better their life. We're not holding anyone's hand, you know. Um, I, you know, I tell, you know, good friends of mine all the time, like, look, this isn't, this ain't the after school hangout. Like, we work here. You know, we can have, we have a great time, but if you're not adding anything, then you will eventually just find your way out, you know. Like, people ask me all the time, how do I get involved in SAGE? Just show up do some work it's not that formal you know because most of what we do is volunteer you just got to give a damn mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. and uh, going forward future goals for sage future goals for sage mm -hmm. um, right now we're working on our 2014 schedule and um, my 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 future plans for sage is for everyone that's involved in sage to have you know stability because right now we're kind of all over the place you know um, work towards stability because the one thing that we're all getting is older, you know, and just planning for the future, you know, like five years from now I want to be here and five years now Carl wants to be here. Let's work towards that goal and take, pay, take baby steps along the way. Um, so that means, you know, getting, um, doing stuff other places, branching out, you know, like I said, I'm working on some things in New York for next year. Carl, you know, Carl's working on a solo show for next year. You know, Kyle's working on some things also in New York. Like, we're we're realizing our potential in that, you know, what we established here in Trenton, you know, that's all well and good. But you also have to spread the brand, spread the name, spread the message. And the beautiful part about it is no matter where we go, you know, the reputation and the influence is always going to come back here because people are going to want to know where it started. So it's it, no matter what happens, Trenton still benefits, you know, even if we're not physically there to uh, to um, to be a part of, you know, you know what I'm saying, like mm -hmm. where it's going. We have to stay mobile, mm -hmm. you know, so that's when, you know, we're, I look at it as just planting seeds. You know, if I go another place and do a mural, that's when I see you planted. That could eventually be another chapter of sage, you know, mm -hmm. and just showing people, like to me, there's sages everywhere. Most of them are just untapped. You just mm -hmm. have to go there and show them how to do it and so on and so forth as in, in doing that you know the prestige of our city will benefit from it because it started here mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. well, i like to throw this out there mm -hmm. as well most of the people know that i'm always coming up with mm -hmm. some ideas and things yeah. and i don't consider myself an artist although i like to dabble mm -hmm. but i would like to see sage go on tour that we're talking about that yeah <laughs> uh yeah oh uh, it's so funny you mentioned that we're talking about doing a few things um the first one is, like I said, I'm still putting it together, uh, is revolving around the Wu-Tang Clan. You know, everybody who knows me knows I'm a big Wu fan. And actually, the whole, the way Sage is formed is really based off of Wu's model. And a lot of people don't even know that, you know. So, um, right now we're working on something that we're going to launch in November. It's going to be called The Art of Wu. So, um, it's going to be an art show with all Wu-Tang Clan inspired art. And most of the MCs I deal, I deal with over the past few years, you know, we're going to have... Um, I'm thinking probably like a rough number of 10 to come out and do their own material over Wu Beats. So it, again, it's, you know, we're working with other groups, other people, and everybody's gaining something from it. You know? That's right. Yeah. Excellent. I think that's a perfect way to finish up. Yeah. So, folks, if you want to find out more information about the Sage Coalition, uh, Will Castle Condry, and Carl Washington, and the whole group. I mean, there's mm -hmm. uh, 10, 12 of the men and women who are involved with yeah. the organization. If you want to find out more, just look for them on the website, and uh, that is sagecoalitionnj.com. Yeah. You can also find them on Facebook. And you can just do a simple Google search, and, and I'll take you to some of the press that they've gotten recently um, about the Gandhi Garden and about some of their other projects. Folks, again, one more time, I just want to say... Um 
to the listening and viewing audience, um, you know, kudos to uh, Dion Clark. Uh, he went home to be with the Lord um, just yesterday. Uh, Dion was a mentor to me. Um, he was someone who pulled me aside on a couple of occasions and mentioned some things to me um, that were very uh, heartfelt. And I know that there are a lot of people who already miss him. I know that the community is going to miss him dearly and that uh, that's going to ask uh, some of the other folks, like the two gentlemen and myself, Will Casso and Carl Washington and me to step up and start doing more in the community as well. And Sage Coalition is part of that group and that movement of people who do care. And uh, so, folks, if you want to hear more, just get in contact with Sage Coalition, sagecoalitionnj.com. Uh, on Mondays, you can find my show, Trenton 365 show on WIMG 8 to 9. You're listening to In the Public Interest on WIMG 1300, also on WIMG1300.com and WPHY Channel 25 in Mercer County. Good night. In the Public Interest on Trenton Talks is a program that explores different topics that are of interest to you. In the Public Interest on Trenton Talks can be heard every Tuesday night on 1300 WIMG at 6 p.m. and 6.30 p.m. and seen on WPHY 25.